you see on your screen right now is a sound bar that's set below the television. Chances are good if this is like you, you've got two remote controls, one for the TV, one for the sound bar. In this video, we're going to show you an alternate wiring connection technique where you get rid of the volume control on this, and now the remote from your television controls the volume on your sound bar as well. Let's take a look. The first thing you want to do is take a look at the back of your soundbar like we're doing here on your screen. Look for either the red white RCA audio input or the single port stereo jack input. Now take a look at the back of your television like we're looking at this one now. Yours is probably going to look different but you want to look for a headphone or a headset jack just like this. Now the wire that you're going to need in order to make this work is pictured on your screen right here. One end of it is this stereo cable, the little two black rings indicating it's stereo. The other end is your typical red-white RCA connection. Connect the red-white RCAs into the red-white RCA jack on the back of your soundbar. If for one reason or another your soundbar doesn't have the red-white RCAs but it has the stereo jack, Make sure you have a cable that has this on both ends and plug it in there. What you want to do is take this end of the wire and plug it into the headphone jack. Alright, now that you made the wiring connections, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn your sound bar on. And you want to make sure that it's set to the proper input. So in this particular case, I have to set it to the analog input. You'll notice the light change on your screen there. You want to make sure that the volume on your sound bar is turned pretty much all the way down. Next, go ahead and turn your TV on. Begin to adjust the volume on your television up to a level that you would normally listen to. So for example, I have it set to 10 right now, and if that's where you normally set it, go ahead and set it. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. You want to begin to slowly raise the sound volume on the sound bar using the sound bar remote until you can hear sound through the sound bar. Then you want to continue to raise the volume on your TV until you reach the desired level. You don't want to turn the volume up too high on the actual sound bar because when you mute the television you're going to hear a buzzing in your sound bar. So you have to play around with these settings a little bit, but once you get started, I think you'll get an idea. Hey, there's a subscription button at the top right of your screen. Would you please subscribe to the channel and share this with anybody that you know who has a sound bar or might be interested in tech tips like this. We appreciate you watching and have a great day.